morning. Welcome today as we celebrate the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Presiding over our celebration of the liturgy today, we welcome our new associate pastor, Father Yesudas. To assist you at Mass, we now have a worship aid available on the website. If you go using your phone, if you go to qasparish.org and click on the worship aid, you will find the, the text for the Gloria, the Creed, and the readings. The opening hymn is, I will praise your name, my King and my God. Please stand. Good morning, everyone. I'm happy to be celebrating my first weekend Mass here. We begin this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, Jesus addresses with comforting words today. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Let those words wash over us and all the responsibilities we have. All the stresses we are under and all the failures that haunt us, my Yoke is easy, Jesus assures us, my burden light. As we gather together on this holiday weekend, let us rejoice in the freedom Jesus offers us from our heavy burdens. Lord Jesus, you are meek and humble of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your yoke is easy and your burden light. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way that leads to the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, bless you, glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. You are heavenly king. Lord, 
Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, Fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. A just savior is he, meek and riding on an ass, on a colt, the foal of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow, bow shall be banished, and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit, if only the spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead, who will give life to your mortal bodies also, through his spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son. And anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, on this 14th Sunday of the church, ordinary Sunday time, the church calls us in a special way to reflect on Jesus' humility and gentility. These twin virtues are necessary for our journey as followers of Christ. The first reading of this Sunday foretells the humility of Christ who was to come. This reading is a hope raiser to all the poor, especially in spirit and the oppressed. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, behold, your king comes to you. Triumphant and victorious is he, humble, and riding on a donkey. This reminds us of the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem on a donkey on the Passion Sunday to symbolize peace and humility. In the second reading, St. Paul reminds us of the need to live in the spirit this is because it is the spirit that breeds humility and gentility, as opposed to the flesh, which breeds pride and all forms of worldliness. Flesh here, as St. Paul employs it, refers to the evil nature present in Adam and still present even in regenerate man. It is only the spirit of Jesus that can help us remain humble and gentle. That is why St. Paul's St. Paul says to us, anyone who does not have the spirit of Jesus does not belong to him. Hence, we need to be careful not to grieve the spirit and should labor to enjoy a constant sense of his presence in our hearts. In the gospel, Jesus reveals and gives us that key to the heart of God. That is the master key with which one could unlock the secrets that God would not make known to the proud-hearted. The key is a blend of humility and gentility. The word of God says, God resists 
the proud hearted but gives grace to the humble if we must serve god well we must be humble and gentle of heart abraham recognizing his unworthiness before god fell upon his face before the lord king solomon knelt when he asked god to bless the temple and the people of god eliza knelt in earnest prayer when he asked the lord to send rain to end israel's drought a leper came and knelt before jesus saying lord if you are willing you can make me clean in the same way in humility we must bend and bow low before god also like the sheep that harms no one but simply goes about its business we must live our lives in a way that leaves no pain or sorrow on others above all we must see jesus in the poor the weak the sick and all those at the fringe of society if we do this surely god will reveal to us more secrets about the kingdom that we know nothing about yet if we do this we are being infants before god as jesus says today you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and reveal them to infants finally jesus beckons us come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest my friends this is a great invitation this invitation is extended to the simple humble and gentle hearted who are quick to realize the need for god's intervention in their life this invitation is for those who are sincerely and earnestly seeking the face of god even in trying times this invitation is also for those who are ready to submit and surrender all leaving the past and ready to take up the yoke of jesus finally this invitation is for those who are ready to take what jesus offers them this invitation is definitely not to the proud and hard-hearted people because god would throw away the haughty and lift up the lowly it's up to us to choose the invitation I believe in one God, Father of all, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not me, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for as men and all salvation came down from heaven. and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified and of pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day 
in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. This kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adorned and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, life of the world. Let us come before God with our needs and our burdens, for we are promised that they will be lightened. For Christians around the world who are suffering from persecution, that they be kept safe from harm. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That peace may be proclaimed in our country, both within and without, as we celebrate the anniversary of our independence this weekend. That we will work to bring all, regardless of race, creed, color, or religion, those unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the prosperity of our country may reach the poorest among us, so that the burden of poverty may be lightened for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those suffering from drug addiction, and for their families and loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that we may come to the assistance of others in need, helping to make their yoke easy and their burdens light. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those communities hit hardest by the coronavirus and those who care for them, especially in hospitals at their breaking point, that we, in the name of the gospel of life, will do all we can in our daily lives for the protection and care of others. We pray. For all who suffer from COVID-19 and all the serious ill, uh, and all serious illness, especially Mary Ryan and all of the sick of our parish. We pray to the Lord. Lord. For all our brothers and sisters who have passed, especially Terry Pulowski, Fidela Villa, Lolita Kalangagan, and those who have died alone and in silence due to this pandemic. We pray. Our King and our God, you are gracious and merciful, good to all and compassionate to all you have created. Listen to the prayers we make and lighten our burdens through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
and cleanse me. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, Blaze our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, and would be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, O not as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom of power. 
Alleluia. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other Christ peace in a new way. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. There will be two lines for communion. One for each side of the church. The ushers will send each pew up for communion, starting with the back and moving forward. Please sanitize your hands before receiving. While waiting in the aisle, please be sure and stand on the marked spots on the floor. When you approach the minister, leave your masks on. After receiving the body of Christ in your hand, move to the next marked spot on the floor, about 12 feet away. Once there, remove your mask, consume the body, replace your mask, and then return to your seat.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the praise of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. We have made a slight adjustment to the reservation system for our masses. Moving forward, you only need to make one reservation per household. When making your reservation, it will come up as quantity one. Where it asks in the comments section, please list the number of persons from your household who will be attending. And thank you so much to everyone who has already purchased their United Parish Program raffle tickets. We are less than 1,000 tickets away from our goal of 3,500 raffle tickets sold. Additional prizes kick in if we meet our goal. Get your tickets today to be eligible for the next early bird drawing. Please visit the parish website qasparish.org to purchase raffle tickets, sponsorships, and to see all of the ways you can support UPP. This one parish animal fu an annual fundraiser is crucial to meeting our operating budget and supporting all of our ministries and outreach. And this year, we need your support more than ever. No amount of participation is too small. Tickets are also available at the rectory. As we announced last week, beginning this weekend, the 7 a.m. Mass is scheduled as a drive-in. Mass in our parking lot, weather and other logistics permitting. This Mass is especially designed for the more vulnerable members of our parish who are not comfortable attending Mass in the church. Everyone who attends this Mass must arrive in a car and remain inside for the duration of the Mass. We encourage you to make a reservation online for your vehicle 
as capacity is limited. The mass will be broadcast over a low power FM frequency, which you can hear on your car radio. Communion will be distributed through your open car window. Please use your own hand sanitizer before receiving communion. Please see the parish website for details. At the end of Mass, please remain in your pews. The ushers will release the pews one at a time from the side aisles of the church. Please follow their directions. Everyone will exit the church from the front exits on both sides. In order to move efficiently while keeping proper distance, we ask that those sitting on the left side of the church exit to the left by the Sacred Heart altar, and those sitting on the right exit to the right by the St. Joseph altar. Is that the right direction? <laughs> You know what I mean. <laughs> Once released, we ask that you leave as quickly as possible so that we can get the church cleaned and sanitized. There is no opportunity for private prayer after Mass. Weekly donations can be placed in the baskets at the exits. Correct. We continue to encourage online giving at givecentral.org. And I wish to, uh, from my side, I wish to thank Father Simon and all of you for to, that I have been invited here to serve this beautiful Basilica parish. I feel privileged to be able to be here with you, to go with you in, uh, in this beautiful spiritual journey. So once again, thank Father Simon and all of you. We stand for our final blessing now. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Amen.